Hi everybody, it's Faith from Friday Saints Hero. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's Friday. You know what that means. It is time for the weekend. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck reading. Just a little sneak peek of what you might be able to expect for this weekend. Not going to delve too deep. It's only for two days worth of energy. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't resonate, it's probably just not your story and that's okay. Might be beneficial to check out the reading for your moon rising or Venus sign. If the sun sign just doesn't quite get it for you. Okay. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're going to start with you because it is still Taurus season, which is an earth sign. Top of the deck. Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups reversed. Mm. It is what it is, guys. This was karmic. With a not so happy fairytale ending. Well, let's figure out where it started. King of Cups in the reverse, Five of Pentacles, someone very emotionally closed off, somebody got left out in the cold. Okay. Page of Wands reverse, Prince of Cups reversed. There's no communication, no forward movement. No communication at all. Okay. Well, what about this weekend? Three of Cups reversed, Eight of Pentacles. You're saying forget this and working on you. Earth signs, I like it. You're letting it go. You're disconnecting from it. Let's get some advice. That was easy. Five of Cups in the upright, Four of Cups in the upright. Yeah, your cups are kicked over. There is still blessings here believe it or not. And please do not spend too much time dwelling on the three spilt cups because the universe has something in store for you. There's a new start coming. Might not be this weekend, but take your time, work on you, find the blessing. Not everybody gets a happy fairy tale ending. And sometimes the lack of a fairy tale ending, well, People leave our lives to make room for the people who are supposed to be there, don't they? All right. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's in store for you guys this weekend, huh? The world and the magician. Oh, you gotta watch that magician card. That's a powerful card. Be careful, be very, very careful what you say and what you think this weekend because the universe is listening. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Get what I'm saying? Be careful what you try to manifest into your life. And cycle completion coming in. Okay. When old cycles end, new cycles begin. That's pretty awesome. Past, we had an eight of pentacles and a four of pentacles. You or someone you were dealing with uh, could have tried to apologize about something. Came in with a small offer. But someone's being very miserly, possibly holding on to some old baggage, some old emotions. Probably not too perceptive to it. The current here and now. 
Three of Cups and an Empress. Empress in the reverse. Possibly a little bit of a love triangle going on. Could be. Or, if it isn't a love triangle situation, you're at least cordial with this person, but it, you realize it's not going anywhere. It, it's not going to grow or expand into anything other than cordial communication or, at the very least, friendship. Okay. Coming in this weekend, Judgment and the Emperor reversed. Well, wow. Hmm. Like that judgment card. I don't know about that judgment card. Why is judgment card here? You feel like saying something. Page of Pentacles. What if I apologize again? They keep kicking it back. They're trying to start something. Why is the Emperor reversed here? The Moon reversed came out. They may try to resurrect this again this weekend and show their vulnerable side and possibly spill some of those secrets they've been harboring. Mm-hmm. Some light might be shed on some things this weekend. Let's get you a couple cards of advice, tell you what to do. Eight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Oh, boy. It may be best to see this is where the story splits. Some of you, because I'm getting two different things here, some of you need to just accept the fate of the situation and do your self work. Okay? And some of you put some work into the relationship. But don't get emotionally stuck. That's making any sense to anybody. That's just what I'm hearing. It's what I'm hearing. Do what you're going to do, air signs. Uh, the cycles come back around. If you want to relive it, it's your journey, not mine. Water signs. What do we got going for the water signs today? I think this is going to be a quick one. Wow. Water signs, you have the King of Wands and the Six of Swords reversed. Possibly a fire sign or an air sign you're dealing with. I'm thinking confrontation due to a return. Somebody's coming back and it's gonna it's gonna stir up some emotions. Maybe, maybe stir the coals up a little bit in an old fire. Who knows? In the past, we have the sun reversed in the Queen of Swords. There was a lack of happiness, a disconnect. Somebody having a terrible attitude about the situation. What's going on right now? Seven of Pentacles and the moon. Someone patiently waited for the truth.
sometimes divine timing just kind of makes that fog of BS just kind of lift and things become clear. It's coming in for this weekend. Five of Wands and the Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to be coming back with truth and there may be a little bit of a confrontation. I don't even need to clarify any of this. I think this came in crystal clear. Water signs, this is what you might be able to expect out of this weekend. Let's get you some advice. Tell me what you got to do about it. Two of Pentacles and the Empress. Well. Two more. Because that's not making sense. Knight of Pentacles in the Chariot. Well, okay. If this happens, lines of communication open back up and they come back honest, and you survive the battle, if you can get to that point, if balance is restored, let it grow and see what it's going to do. Why not? But until they come back with that apology for whatever they may have done to cause the disconnect and the crappy attitudes and apologizing for the secrets and the fog of deception, keep your distance and don't allow for forward movement. Okay. That's what I got out of that. Fire signs. Oh, my fire signs. I have so much more room now. Oh my gosh. So much more room. I like it. Oh, fire signs. In my in my cleaning over Tuesday and Wednesday, something really fun happened. Uh, well, I lost one of the cards for my witch's tarot deck. I'm super bummed about that, but I have another one on order. But I found the missing card to my steampunk deck, my new one. So, yay, yay. The old steampunk deck that was so wore out finally gets to retire. Because this one is finally usable again. So, here we go. Fire signs have been using the witch's tarot deck for a while. So, we're just going to give the steampunk a workout until the witch's tarot deck comes in. And I'm still in the process of cleaning this room up. That, that was going to take a lot longer than two days just because I have so much else going on. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling and read your cards. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One more. I can tell it's been a while since I used this deck. Strength. And the Queen of Cups reversed. Mm. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Harnessing some strength to emotionally close yourself off from someone. Or something. Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Cups. Someone tried to come in out of the cold, but I don't know how, how non-committal they were. Somebody you gave the boot may have come back for one more go around. I love you. I miss you. Here's my cup. I want you back. Uh, 
Seven of Cups reversed in the Queen of Wands. This may have caused a little bit of confusion. Perhaps you temporarily closed off some options. Felt a great deal more emotion for this person. So, wow. Queen of Wands. Fiery passion for this person. Well, some, some, maybe you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to get too far into that. What's happening this weekend? Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Oh, the juggler. Can I get some clarity on the Two of Pentacles, please? Because I have a Five of Cups here. This weekend ain't ending well for somebody. Juggling the emotions, unable to release the burden. I think when this person come, came back, they brought back the baggage and the old emotions and the old feelings. And this weekend, everything's going to come to a head and you're going to be left three spilt cups in a bar and not seeing what someone is trying to hand you for your blessings. Emotionally closing yourself off, trying to find the strength to do that. Strength doesn't come in a bottle, my friends. It's just words of wisdom. What's your advice? Ten of Cups reversed and the Nine of Pentacles. You didn't get your fairy tale. This wasn't supposed to be the fairy tale. But you can find the strength to finally stand up on your own and gain your emotional independence, possibly financial independence. This is supposed to... What you're supposed to take out of this is coming into your own. Be the true queen of wands. Be good on your own. Two more. The Empress reversed in the Two of Swords. If you know that it's not going to go anywhere, and there's no growth, and there's no potential for it, cut them loose. Take the blindfold off. Make the difficult decision. You'll be fine in the end. I mean, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to the cards. Do what you want, fire signs. I'm not here to tell you how to live. That was short and sweet and to the point. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for stopping by. I will be back Sunday night for the work week top and bottom. And I will be back open for personal readings on Monday. And also, well, I have Sunday off for Mother's Day. So there's a good possibility I'm going to be doing some readings on Sunday to get ready for the um, second half of May. I might post those for future upload, but we'll see what happens. I got a lot going on on Sunday. It is Mother's Day, and we are still in a situation where, well, I'm not going to go too far into it, but I'm not going to be going anywhere on Sunday. I'm going to be home all day, but, you know, still lots to do around here. Take care. Be blessed. I'm going to bring you guys forward so I don't have to get up out of the chair. Woo! There we go. Be blessed. Bye for now.